standing with you today in the shadow of these murder chambers, I see the faces of my two sisters, Rancha and Toba, who, who I love so much. They were only 22 and 20 years old when they were murdered here. I feel the soul of, of my niece, Esterka. She also perished here. She was only seven years old. But the walls of these murder chambers also give me hope. It will help Tobibo to become a place of education. People will now learn with their own eyes about what happened here to Tobibo. Tobibo will always remind us that people are capable of both great evil and great goodness. And that's so no matter how powerful the evil, we all have the ability to resist and to retain our humanity. I remember that many Jews here and throughout Europe resisted the Nazi Germans until their very last moment. They resisted with their bodies and with their spirits. I was only a teenager when I was taken to Sobibo. But I wanted to live. Somehow I survived. I have dedicated my life to being a witness to what happened here in the middle of the forest the heart of the civilized world hidden from the conscious of the world. I am grateful to so many government officials and private leaders who have made it possible for an important educational center to be built here. I look forward to the day when very, very soon thousands of people will visit Sobibor to hold the year. And I hope that they will also visit the towns and cities where Sobibor may, may many victims live to hold Europe. We must always remember not only how people died, but how they lived. Thank you very much.